Hey guys, I'm Jenny to Occasion, and today we are carrying on with our Miao Yin campaign. And well, currently she's hanging out in the realm of Nurgle, which is fine, don't worry about it. Uh, but Nan Gao, we can afford to get to tier 5, which is awesome. Also, last episode we made friends with Carl Franz, we are building a outpost in in uh, uh, Old Dorf, which is awesome. Really, really good. We'll have access to uh, Outriser grenade launchers. Uh, Hellstorm rocket batteries, a bunch of cool stuff, which is amazing. Sadly, our brother is letting his nation sort of fall into um, stinkiness. It, it, yeah, Nurgle corruption is rampant. Um, so I was going to go help out by closing uh, the rift here, but we took a bit of damage, so I wanted to retreat, regroup a bit. Uh, but yeah, our brother might be in a bit of trouble. He's off. He's off fighting ogres right now, which is a bit ridiculous. It's a little bit ridiculous. But anyway, uh, we also have this guy, who has stopped raiding us. He has stopped raiding us, but we we made a non-aggression pact with him, and he stopped raiding us when we did. So we don't have to tell him to leave, which is nice. We also inherited a bunch of other characters that are going to try and assassinate people when we confederated most of Cathay. So that's really, really good. Uh, we have Wei Jin under our control now. We're assassinating folk. It's just everything's coming up Millhouse. It's pretty great. Uh, assassinate. You're our assassin now. I've decided. We've got a bunch of unique buildings being built. Which is terrific. And, I mean, everything's going great, frankly. Everything's going great. Except, obviously, um, our faction leader is currently hanging out. Oh, also... Our caravan that had already been blessed once by the the you know the folk of the land of a thousand gods in Ind, um, so all of his he can you know carry twice as many trade goods, a hundred percent extra value he gets from selling it, and now he's even got a bunch of celestial dragon guard, um, and the entire army causes frostbite, even on their missile attacks they cause frostbite. I mean, this army is obscene, and I hate that it's stuck as a caravan. Fitting, I would love just to use this army. It's come amazing. On, the great so, really, really cool. Although, actually, what I'm going to do... Uh, although these guys are really nice high rank, uh, I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of one of the Jade Warriors here. Alright. Or am I? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to get rid of them, because this army is still super elite and amazing. But it gives a little bit more room... If we get offered, like, you know, some anything, basically. Just re more recruits. What we might end up having to do as well is get rid of the nobles or the empire captains. I'm not sure these guys are worthwhile when we're getting infantry this powerful. But I would like to leave some space for, like, you know, some cavalry or, like, artillery or anything, really. There's something else. You something else. Also, while you're here, people. let's order you to assassinate this guy as well. Oh, I can't. I can't. Why not? It cannot, it just success is at zero. It's because they're tired, they're exhausted. I was hoping to queue it up so I could do it in a bit, but no, you have to wait. So anyway, Miao Yin is suffering horribly from attrition and fighting people, but hopefully we we'll get to this point and I think she'll get replenished for touching that node. So we just have to hope no one comes in uh, through these rifts and attacks her. Otherwise we could have a serious fight on our hands. All right, allies are building uh, a building outpost. That's fine. You do you. Uh, Selma besieged a village of the moon, the forests of the moon. Yeah, I got to deal with you, huh? Yeah, nice and easy. All right, get out. We're gonna better eight. Uh, disciplinarian, extra control in the province. That's nice. And rogue hunter. Oh, that's cool. I like that these count as rogue armies. That's nice. It means you get a benefit against more enemies, really. So bandits, traitors, and outlaws are all cravens to the end, running in fear of the day that justice comes to claim their heads. And we got a settlement to Tier 5. It was actually one of the gates that made it first. But that got us a Catalinic kiln. Sorry, Catalytic kiln. I know I said Catalinic. I just merged the two, <laughs> the two words together. Uh, the Shield of Dolos and an Ogre Blade. And 7k, which is great. Your mightiest fortresses may become great engines of war. The home bases of conquering armies that roam far and wide continue to develop your facilities at home. Only the most important province capital settlements may be developed to the highest level. And wow. I can't believe I just holistically got harmony to balance when I was just kind of going, oh, a little over here, a little over this way. 
<laughs> just a couple centimeters off the top. Just my haircut. Um, Harmony is balanced. Both yin and yang are working as one. And so the catalytic, catalytic kiln. Those caught in the kiln's uh, ambit. I don't really know what an ambit is. I'm assuming that's the fiery bit in the middle, right? Uh, find themselves not only seared and scorched, but any resistance to fire they may have is weakened considerably. So this is a... Uh, is this a passive ability then? So just damage over time, huh? So it has, has fire weakness, and it's damage over time in an area, and crazy fire weakness. That's awesome. Also, it get, makes Terracotta Sentinels have more armor, which is nice. Shield of Patolos, first discovered in the far south by Tomb Raiders, the Shield of Patolos grants a wielder. Uh, the wielder, a great defensive boon against missile attacks, also very nice. And the Ogre Blade. The Ogre Blade was used by Chaos Dwarves to tame the Ogre, uh, the kingdoms amongst the mountains of Morn. How it came to the Old World is a mystery. An Ogre brought it, maybe, I don't know. And Jermaine died, sorry Jermaine. Tea Master, come, sit a while upon the carpet and partake of this ceremony. Twice. Child Excellent. You guys done? Close this rift. Good. We will bring order. Brilliant. <laughs> that was a great noise. <laughs> Defeat the Ari's. <laughs> it just sounds like a sick cat. Uh, so anyway, let's um, venerate the sick cat. Competent protector. Archers, let loose your arrows. Strike them down before they reach our line. Adorn my chamber Leader, or, uh, leadership aura size going on. Also got a sword master, but I think we already have plenty of those. I think we have plenty. Never Never falter. Okay. Really news. So what are we going to get you now? Uh, ancestral warrior seems a bit pointless. Blossom wind to leveling up might be nice. Um, but honestly, just... Ooh, actually, terracotta sentinels... I mean, we've got one of them in the army, but... Well, those sure aim's probably better, right? The extra missile damage from all our jade uh, crossbowmen. Also, the extra range is good, too. So let's max that out immediately. And then for you, three levels for you. Well, damn. Let's go Enchanted Metallurgy. And I'm going to go with... I guess... I don't know, I'll go Piercing. Why not? Now we go um, increase mobility. Good. Power in and you need to start heading back towards the turtle gate, which we are going to upgrade as well. We are rolling in money again. Really rather impressive. Hang on a minute. Wait a second. That didn't get tier 5. Shan Young made it to tier 5 first. Oh my word, that's crazy. Alright, Sky Junk in Shan Young. Not really its job, but it'll do. Uh, we can get the Great Embassy as well. Actually, we can get the Great Embassy if we don't spend all our money on the Mooring Tower that costs 12,000. It's a lot. It's a hell of a lot. So the Great Embassy. Ambassadors from other nations are housed in separate compounds within the Great Embassy of Shanyang. For that is where the route west begins, or east ends. So income generated, 300. Very nice. Allegiance points gained, plus 50%. So instead of that passive income of uh, 2 per turn, we'll be getting 3. That's really good. So income from trade plus 10% faction-wide, and diplomatic relations go up with all factions by 10. Really good. Really good stuff, that. Absolutely lovely. Um, also, I suppose I should build a Celestial Tower so I can get... Sorry, not that. The Alchemist. We've already got an Alchemist Tower. That's why I got that built there. Okay. Like I say, we need Alchemists in Shanyang. And we do. We absolutely do. I don't know what else we want to build here now. Uh, do you want to get some uh, a Nangao Forge? Do you want to maybe encourage uh, Longma here? I have no idea. Not a clue. I mean, just control, I guess, would be nice. I don't know. Seems a bit rubbish. I don't think I'll build anything. We'll just leave that empty. As a, as a reminder of a different time. I really don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can't be bothered to fill it up with anything. Uh, but we do have... Oh, it's another building slot. But that is for the stockades. That's right. We can level this up. Uh, these can all be upgraded as well. Okay, that's going to put our income up some more. And Jiangxi, does that have... No, we've already queued up all that stuff too. Brilliant. We're doing great. I love how this is going. Confederation is still putting control down, but... Everywhere seems kind of fine-ish. 
you know, fine enough. Now, what are we going to do with you, huh? What are we going to do with you? Uh, so we don't have an outpost in the Reichland yet, and we have very little allegiance. Uh, one thing I do want to do... Well, I want to do this, don't I? Let's get Celestial Lake done. Extra income in all buildings can be useful. For sure. But I also want to go to Diplomacy. And... Um, right, can I sort by treaties? Ally options want to sort by. There we go. So, Western Provinces, I want to see if we have ally missions. And we do. Uh, oh, interesting. He wants us to defeat that guy. Or Grand Vomitus. I'm not going all the way down there. Or, oh, all the bloke is in his territory. You know what? I will accept that. That feels to me like something that an ally would do. Actually defeat the enemy army traipsing through his territory. I like the sound of that. So we'll do that. If we don't manage it, then it doesn't matter. Natural um, Jade Custodians. Can't construct an outpost there. The I like that you calls. can cycle through your allies, though. That is such a great thing to be able to do. So we can't get any ally missions yet. I mean, we don't have an outpost yet, so that makes sense. But yeah, hopefully he'll be okay. You know, hopefully Karl Franz will stay safe over there. So, I have no money left. Wow. I did not realize how fine we were cutting that. Okay, let's go to... Uh, where are you? Yao Yin. Hopefully this will heal us up. Oh, it did. Thank God for that. Okay, we visited the Plague Moon. Argus the Plague Moon. Who's here, by the way. Uh, the most disgusting of Nurgle's diseases rests on Argus, the lost Sky Titan's skull. Very cool. Ugh, look at that. Oh, that's horrible. Unless he's giving him a massage. In which case, ah. So, it was on Argus, the Lost Sky Titan Skull, that Nurgle created his most disgusting phage. Thankfully, he has yet to unleash it upon the mortal world. It is from this plague that uh, Pox Fulcrum has developed a powerful immune response, which is now yours. That's really good news. So, um, less, less attrition will be suffering, which is good. And now we need to head to the manse. Hello there. God, look at this thing. It's so cool. So cool. Love it. Also, I love that uh, Nurgle is all about the bells, as is Skaven. It's just a nice sort of, um, you know, sort of a nice little hint that perhaps they have, have some things in common. <laughs> so, I like it. Alright, let's, descend. um... Do we just book it? Let's just book it. Now. Yeah, so it'll take another couple of turns to get here, because I do want to make sure that I spend at least a turn in, in camp stance when we get over here, so that way I'm not, um, you know, that way I'm not sort of injured when I walk in. But, yeah, with the lower attrition, it's not bad. So we're losing five per turn. So, yeah, I think our our casualty replenishment rate can catch up with that, or can keep up with that, I suppose. So that's great. Sadly, we didn't get any more money out of any of that. So now I'm wondering, um, what can I cancel in order to get some more troops? I don't want to cancel the Great Embassy. I really want that build. It's going to take eight turns to build as well. Eight. All right, let's cancel the stockades. We don't need that right now. There's nothing that's going to attack us. Okay. And now, it's quite a good army, honestly. Not the best in the world, but it's not bad. Um, oh, we're not in encamp stance. What do you want to go to in... Go into encamp starts, and then we can start. Um, we can actually recruit from the faction, right? We can recruit from the faction that we are going to save, which I think sounds great. So do you want sky lanterns? Maybe get some cavalry instead, um, or just get some uh, jade warrior crossbowmen. That's not a bad idea. But no, no. Let's let's recruit a a patrol, okay? I think cavalry makes more sense. The idea of cavalry patrolling the borders, and, and I, I... They discover me, they say, hey, Nurgle's about, we need support, and then I go, yeah! I got you back. And then we get their back. I expect loyalty, That's the plan. And I'll just recruit some, um, some crossbowmen instead. That'll do. Now we have a very, very tasty army that'll do. Very tasty things. Okay, good. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do, pig. 
Okay, let's move on. Oh, and yes, and you can just vaguely walk down there, and and when you're, when you stop being tired, you can get to assassinating people again. Thanks. Oh no, the caravan's under attack. Oh, you poor sods, Malrin, Malrin Belly Rot. What are you thinking? So up ahead, strewn across the road, a crude barricade. Bandits stand upon the blockade in defiance, demanding cargo from your caravan. As a toll to continue. Yeah, no. No. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. There was no hope. There was absolutely no hope. This caravan was chosen by many gods to smite you. To carry cargo. Apparently gods are into the carrying of cargo. I don't know, I guess... I guess gods are big into mercantilism, although mercantilism is more uh, about getting all of the wealth for yourself, so the idea of actually aiding any other nation in that, if that's something you're into, that seems a bit weird, I don't know. Um, odd. So, our legion can learn to draw from within themselves an invisible miasma of the moon empress's enduring love, which as it envelops, our foes shall blunt their every strike. Harmony plus three in. Oh, damn, I didn't realize that tech sometimes was, like, crazy. And great, incessant bloating. Even minus 30% speed, minus 20 armor-piercing weapon damage, and minus 20% melee defense for the whole army. Unbelievable. God, that's horrible. Anyway, um, garrison commander. You're a caravaneer, what are you talking about? But that's fine. So Harmony is now in Yin. Yeah, I hadn't realised that. I hadn't realised this was ever... I always just look whether it says yin or yang. But I never looked at the, the figures. I didn't realise that the end ones were a lot. That's probably what keeps throwing me. I'm sure a bunch of you guys have been telling me. Like, oh, that one that one was more than one. Although that doesn't seem to be the case with any of the prior ones. Oh, it does for that one. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, I, I definitely get thrown. I think it's the, the garrison buildings that do it more than anything else. Yeah, let's get that then. Melee attack as well. I like that. Let's get melee attack. For this. Also, we the fact that it, we just had a thing that was plus uh, three in favor of one thing, and we're on two right now when we had harmony last turn. I think that's because one of the uh, garrison buildings finished building this turn. <laughs> Genuinely. I think that's what's thrown me again. So, let's just go ahead and build one more yin thing. Over here, just because we have a building slot free. Although, th is there anywhere we can build a yin building that would actually be of benefit? Because potentially. Not if I spend all my money, obviously, but. Uh, nope, that has to be a garrison building. Okay, so there are no other building slots. That's fine then. Let's go yin one. And that'll be yin three next turn. And a couple more turns. That'll be sorted. Also. Our plan for research did work, so our research rate is 148% now. So all of these took four turns before, now they're only taking three. So we should be able to do a bunch of these techs nice and quickly. It is annoying that we're going to keep pushing um, Harmony out of whack, but I don't know, I'm sure we'll work something out. Probably through um, using heroes, because we can probably just recruit and disband heroes every turn. Just to like knock it one you know, one yin or yang at a time. The house of Might be worth doing. Provides. Might be worth doing. Uh, so, okay, you're not tired anymore. Let's give it another go, see if you can get him. Oh, wow. Another 8% chance to assassinate. We're really doing great here. That She's assassinated two people with, like, 30 to 40% odds, which is really good. Expert murder by surprise and stealth ensures that the foe will never know what hit him or why. Good. That's good to see. Good to see we're killing agents of chaos. Silly agents of chaos. They think they're all that. Uh, let's get a tea master there as well. Why not? Uh, can't get assassinate done anymore. So we should probably start leveling up something else. Although if I do specialist, that gives us slightly better odds again. It makes uh, actions a bit cheaper. So that's quite nice too. Let's head over here. Let's start killing Nurgle's agents. Uh, we have finished recruiting over this way. Let's go fight this guy. Oh my god, that Child attrition is a nightmare. But whatever. Let's just run over here. He might turn around and attack us before we suffer any attrition. I don't care that we're tired. You know, that we will be tired if he attacks. We'll be fine. 
And you really need to head back to Turtle Gate, because I really want to get a discount on these armies, on the upkeep. Because look at that, 1600 for that army? I was paying 3500 for that one, that's like a similar size. So, it's a bit ridiculous. It's a bit ridiculous. Why don't you assassinate that guy as well? Or kill him. Or maybe destroy some of these, um, fortresses that are outside. It's tempting. And in the, in the Volary over here, that still, still belongs to the Oracles of Zinch. That are supposed to be, like, our biggest, uh, adversaries, but I haven't seen them at all. There just doesn't seem to be any impetus for them to attack this way. I think because they just know that the Snake Gate and everything, all these gates, are just too big a hurdle. So they end up just running off this way organically, I think. It's really hard to know, because obviously we can't see them. So, I don't really know. I don't know. Iron Dragon would approve. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad they would. Speaking of Iron Dragon, where is he? Here he is. Appealing yeah, he's doing okay. He's doing alright. Um, he's not at war with the Bloodmoor. But it does look like he's chasing now down these guys. The See, I don't know what Greasus is doing, really. Keeping busy, being attacked by demons and such. Bless him. Someone wants us to kill Rug. What's this? Carry a successful assassination attempt. Oh, okay. Guess I should kill Rug. Also got gifts for the family. Uh, I can't raid any of these territories. What are you talking about? Okay, so we're never going to do that mission. That's fine. And uh, we need to go to the mansion, of course. Cool. Alright, you've not moved, and that's exactly what I want. Let's move along. And Meow Yin, I hadn't actually moved. I didn't think you had another turn. Okay. Well, I'm glad you were able just to move. It could have been that guy spawned in the way and we weren't able to push past him, so I'm very glad that panned out. Stand before the Supreme Matriarch once more. Hello, Bull Mullet Hands. Uh, military access. I mean, if it keeps him happy, I'm fine with that. And what's going on here? Uh, Maldron Eyebiter. Uh, our new ogre friends with the military access, they've just attacked Dungrut within range of our caravan. So we're going to go help. I mean, I would help, but I just know that this army, because it's all ogres, they're going to be able to smash through these plague bearers real quickly. So I don't think we're even going to turn up, unfortunately. So we'll just auto resolve it. And the... Okay, that's very annoying. That's very annoying. The pox makers have collected yet another soul. And... Okay, wherever they go next, we're just going to have to wait to see where they go next and then, and then beat them up. <laughs> That's the plan, okay? So, in the next rift, we're just going to follow them, I think. Although the Seducer Sinesh, or the Ice Court, they might be able to grab something, maybe. Although... Hang on a minute. Zarina Catherine must have been destroyed. I don't think she managed her attrition properly. And I think the army over here dealt with her. I think she fled. Because she's not in this realm anymore. Yeah, Zarina Catherine failed. Uh, and seducers of Sanash don't appear to be in a realm either. The only people who are still in a realm are us, Legion of Chaos, and Goldtooth. That's very surprising. Alright. Fair enough. Uh, so Poxmakers of Nurgles, uh, Poxmakers of Nurgle, have challenged the Blood God in his realm and claimed a Demon Prince's soul. Oh my god, you cheeky boy. You cheeky, cheeky boy. Wow. I didn't know they could use this against the player. I genuinely had no idea. So I was just saying how, um, yeah, Zinch hasn't been bothering us at all. You know, we haven't seen anything of Kyrgyz's fate, Weaver. And he's gone and swapped one of our territories. The changer of ways moves against you. Zinchian agents have manipulated the populace of Chiang. They have switched allegiances to their new masters, tusked sons. Oh, will you let this outrage stand? Well, no. No. So this belongs to orcs now. Which is just ridiculous. I love it. I love that that's a thing. I, I am equal parts impressed and sort of concerned and annoyed, but also impressed. Uh, because I genuinely thought they would just disable that. I genuinely thought they would just make it so that um, you know, that mechanic just didn't apply, unless the player was playing as that faction. I really didn't think that the AI would be, like, swapping territories about. Uh, that's amazing. Genuinely fantastic. But also kind of terrible. Um, it's mixed. It's a mixed bag. 
But yeah, we're going to have to fight these guys. They're going to start attacking us, I imagine. But the Tower of Ash Air can hold off, I'm sure. It'll be fine. Probably. Maybe. I don't want to drag our brother into it. I feel like he might just get gooned. You know what? Screw it. There he's come along. Bloodmoor have joined. The Blood Guzzlers didn't. Were Bloodmoor the ones that we just had an agreement with? No. Wait. Yes? Now I'm very confused. I don't know what perspective we're seeing this from. Yep, yeah, we're going to take this over. So, auto resolve that. And we'll just take it. Done. Celestial ancestors. That didn't take long. But now, harmony is yin too. Uh, I don't know what we lost. I think we just lost the stockades there. I don't think it was that big a deal. That did, that did lose us a population surplus. And that's actually the biggest problem with how that went. But anyway, perfect vigor for Jong Duan Mu's caravan now. An extra campaign movement range, which does nothing. But lower attrition's good, and perfect vigor is fine. You know, whatever. Not as impressive for this, uh, this army, honestly. Because he moves at a set speed anyway. So... It is what it is. So point anywhere on the map and this one has likely seen and done all there is to do there. And, oh, we made the caravan. 15.6k. Amazing. Amazing. And we also got a Sky Titan relic. <gasps> research rate plus 20%. Oh, that's brilliant. Can we get it down to two turns per research? That would be incredible. So a strange item takes your interest on the market stools of the Shattered Stone Bay. A keen-eyed ogre parts with it for a small sum. That is really cool. So, this is some kind of relic cipher, a key to understanding the ancient lord of the Sky Titans. The fact that they had, like, you know, all this ancient technology, all this ancient stuff, this ancient wisdom that, uh, you know, we can still learn from. Those poor Sky Titans. This, ah, oh, ogres messed them right up. I mean, to say that they've devolved into the giants that we know will what happened today is just, uh, yeah, it's such a shame. It was such a great way to highlight the fact that they were once, like, they once had, like, a proper civilization and everything. You know, to give us a research rate from their relics. It's really cool. Uh, so we just sort of resolve that, and that's going to give us a bunch of allegiance from Bro. You're welcome, Bro. A short assailant. Confidence can take you surprisingly far when assaulting the enemy. Audacious. This one is irreverent, where others might show trepidation. Silk Weaver. This one's fingers move as delicately as worms who make the silk with which they work. And a Swordmaster as well, and a Channeling Staff. And we did the Allies mission, so we got some Allegiance with them. Which is good, because we just spent a bunch of Allegiance on Jade Lancers. So, uh, how is this going? Celestial glory is uh, there's out. still a Rift right there, so okay, never mind. I permit you to rest. So yeah, you'll need to get rid of that Rift next turn, because this area is still just a mess. It's, it's an absolute mess. Uh, yeah, Armour of Fortune's fine. I don't think we have any more weapons kicked around. Do we have the Ogre Blade? I'll give you the Ogre Blade. Cool. Now let's get you something else, shall we? Uh, Might of Heaven and Earth, even though it is so expensive. A that might be a really fun answer. thing to put on a Terracotta Sentinel. Yeah, give me a Terracotta Dragon Sentinel, basically double damage, an extra 40 melee attack. is going to make that Terracotta Sentinel quite scary. Quite scary. I mean, it has to be. That's to be for 20 wins of magic, jeez. Okay, let's get you increased mobility. Good. Alright. So these guys we're not at war with. That's the Blood Guzzlers. Uh, we're at war with these guys though now. Oh, that's Goldtooth. We're at war with them anyway. Oh, hang on. Where the hell are they? We're at war with some orcs. There's some. There we go. Black Fang. Uh, of the Tusk Sons. And... Oh, here we go. These are the guys, right? Blood. So it's just these two spots, I think. But not that one. It looks so similar, that grey. Just grey with a brown splodge. It's very difficult to tell these apart. But, uh, no, we're actually... We're firm friends. No, they're firm friends. No, we are firm friends with these guys. It is deteriorating. Okay, they don't like that we're at war with one of their allies. Which I guess makes sense. I see its potential. And somehow you aren't at war with them. I suppose you wouldn't be, would you? Very well. Yeah. You're about you're on peace. Exactly <laughs> Don't think they're on peace. Uh, amazing, our strength rank is at five now. Which I find very surprising. Very surprising indeed. I still got this guy hanging out. Uh, you need to head over here. 
so you can start assassinating folks. Although, I'm not seeing... Oh, there they are. They're ruining our territory now. Cheeky little sods. Okay, so what can I build over here? I can build one of those. Uh, here, I can build this up. Maybe I don't really need to. Finally get a mooring tower. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Okay, good. Uh, you can finally head back to Turtle Gate. We do actually have a, a gap spare there that I'd quite like to fill with an army. I mean, Chun Duanmu was there, but I think she needs to just guard the Tower of Asher now. Although, I feel like if this was under siege, it could handle basically anything. Any, like, single stack that comes that way, I think we're laughing. Potentially. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Uh, okay. Let's level you up. Ooh, bound spells. Um, again, kind of feel like like um, Earthblood is just the most useful. Being able to just heal up a bit is a really good. Worthy of a dragon. It's a very good there thing to have. Okay, so Miao Yin. Replenish Next turn, strength. we're going to attack. Which I'm actually a bit annoyed about because uh, we're half an hour into an episode. And it's going to be a 45 minute battle. I <laughs> so I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. Um, okay, let's get the Wall of Wind of Fire. Might just be a short a episode and we'll do a long one next episode. It'll no doubt be long. Oh, and go research rate again. And that's a good point. Research rate hasn't got up because we haven't equipped that ancillary on anyone yet. What can I equip that to? Silt Weavers, Ogre Mercenaries, Jade Sculptors. Oh, it's not a. Skytine Relic is, is actually an equipable item. I guess, um... Alright, let's equip it. Let's equip it. Alright, that'll have to do. Assign skill points. God, you got something else to get, huh? Two more skill points. This is because he got dragged into a fight with an army that he didn't even need to attack. That's awesome. Oh, wait, no, Andy completed his journey. There was that too. In that case, let's get... Could get cargo capacity and better scales. That might be nice. Or I can start doing sure aim just so we can get uh, better attacks. Or I can do tactician so we can start buffing nearby units. Um, I think that might be nicer. So let's get tactician. And I go with inspired defense. I think that melee defense is the best thing to get. A worthy addition to my arsenal. Yeah, I think that'll that'll be the best. Uh, okay. Caravan dispatch available. I guess we're sending one of the one of the little armies, huh? Sending one of the little armies. It's definitely going to get attacked by ogres. We've really, really screwed ourselves over with the Mountains of Morn. Really upset everybody in there. <laughs> oh no. Uh, some, some good money to be had, but I think we just want to go with the short journey. Can't afford dispatch caravan. How much money do I have? I have 500. Alright, 500 it is. That'll do. <laughs> it's only short. I'm fine with it. Um. Okay. Let's move on. And I guess you can just take a step. That's fine. <laughs> Good for you. The Mines of Nanyang. The Hairy Plague. A horde of chittering spider monkeys descends from the mountains, stealing food from markets, prizing metal from carriages and window frames, and even tearing jewellery from the necks and hands of horrified civilians. As uh, poison of fruit. It's just... To deal with them. And Christ has been wiped out. The storm. Okay, let's go over here. Not to you. To you. So this'll be how we'll reach. um we'll have a normal sized episode. We'll do this battle. So close the rift. And uh, we're gonna fight uh curd light here. And here we are again. Beautiful. Beautiful scenery. God, just, I love how Chaos Corruption impacts the skies and the weather. Like, this horrible fog. You know, it's just, it's so gloomy and creepy and awesome. Like, it's a great way to do, do sort of like something to make the maps feel like, oh no, Chaos is looming. I mean, what they could have done is they could have made it that like tentacles pop up in the map and the map completely changes, but... God, can you even imagine having to try and make that work? I'd love it, but 
just the skies really changed the atmosphere to match at least. You know, it's really nice. I really like it. But yeah, they definitely could add tentacles to the map though. I say they definitely could. They probably would have if they could, but you know what I mean. That is something that you could imagine. That could exist. Okay. Let's make a move. Yeah, well, let's let them come to us. Screw it. Yes, yeah, she has wind. She has wind, everybody. Yeah, you can move out. No, oh, Nurgle's forces aren't coming towards us. Having a great old time. Have a lovely jog. Got Nurglings really just have the greatest animation. I mean, the way they move is just insane. Oh, such a gaggle of monstrosities. They're amazing. Really cleverly done. Alright, you can head up that way. You can head up that way. Right, guard, guard the rice paddies, okay? Ready, as always. So, I think what I will do is just use a final transmutation to overcast it on top of these guys. And see what's what. Oh, let's add miscast chance there. I imagine it'll probably start throwing spells at us in a minute. Oh, so that's kind of his bag, isn't it? Offspring <laughs> I guess stuck in there, mate. Excellent. Alright, the final transmutation. And yeah, he's using spells, which will hopefully... Yeah, he's just... No? Yes? I think he overcasted. No, I think that thing wore off already. Oh, final transmutation is sticky now. Oh, that's interesting. That didn't used to be the case. Oh, wait, maybe it's not. Hard to tell. So, yeah, uh, when I say sticky... God, look how it gouges at the floor. That's so cool. Yeah, when I say sticky with regards to spells, it's basically because uh, certain spells that have, like, an area of effect, when they hit you, um, then they will basically just like, if they've hit you, then that's it. You will suffer the full impact of that spell. Right? And those... Yeah, just play bearers, it's fine. Not exalted ones or anything. So that seemed to go quite well. We killed most of our own guys. Which, that was the plan, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the plan. <laughs> uh, but yeah, when, uh, when certain spells, like uh, Soul Stealer, for instance, the dark magic spell Soul Stealer, that one will hit you and stick to you. Whereas Final Transmutation, if you're in its area of effect and then you run away, so you're not in the area of effect anymore, the spell will stop hurting you. It's really quite simple, you know. Really quite straightforward like that. But yeah, I call that a sticky spell. Okay, so we're doing okay. Let's, uh, let's put poison on you and let's put misgust chance on him. Let's use Plague of Rust so he has zero armor. I don't think it's going to make any difference, but, you know, what can you do? God, these guys just... They have so much health. They're just like, cycle charging with cavalry it doesn't seem to do a thing. It really is just missiles you need to deal with plague bearers. Really is all you need. Well, and spells, I suppose. They help too. Yeah, you seem to be doing alright. Well, alright, there he goes. And then... Banish Sludge. I love that they just sort of, like, turn into Sludge. You know, the corn units, they their rage burns them up. They just burn up in flames. You know, Zeech does the blue flames, because they like blue. Uh, Slanesh, I mean, also just kind of bursts into flames. Beautiful. So, uh, let's... I don't know, the money would be quite nice, wouldn't it? But no, I think we'll, um, I think we'll venerate. This pardoning captives makes no sense. It makes no Jade sense. Not even slightly. Jade Lion Whisperer. Campaign movement range. Yes, please. Um, cheaper upkeep for Terracotta Sentinel sounds quite nice. Um, that's. Oh, we've already got a Jade Lion Whisperer. Never mind. No need then. No need. 
Alright, so that's all sorted. Sentinel Technician, which we just got and then I didn't read. Hang on, where are you? I didn't think that I hadn't seen this before. This one has been trained to the incantations needed to unlock the secrets of the Terracotta Sentinels, that they may always be primed and ready to strike. Chief victory over Nurgle multiple times gives us that. That's strange. Interesting. How odd? Dragon -blooded sugar. Don't know what they've got to do with Nurgle, but... There's some vague a connection to the law of life. Of I don't dragon. know. Interesting. Never fly, Interesting. Uh, Alright, you head over there to Shanyang. Thanks. Uh, you'll find where you are. Giving us um, additional... Additional tech. So yeah, 168. Still three turns per, which is a shame. I'd quite like to get that to two turns. If we get that to two turns, then we are laughing. Unfortunately, we'd need an additional province or two. You no. Face our if you They're prove pretty what? close to that. I mean, threatening might do the job. Not sure I necessarily want to threaten them, though. But have we got... Oh, okay, we do have the palace built already. Uh, no, we don't. We don't. That's next. That's the Celestial Court up there. Okay. So we don't have the Celestial Court built yet, so we're not getting that extra 30 diplomatic relations with them yet. We are earning a ton of money now, though. We're not even in harmony. It's crazy. I love it. I love it. Alright, let's get you over here. And, um... Try and assassinate this bird, yeah? Good. Good stuff. And, yeah, you can head home, I suppose. Uh, this should be going down now, right? It's going down by 8 per turn. That's not even that much. I feel like we actually need to babysit this a bit. Do you have anything that can put down... Um... Nothing that can put down corruption. I'm sure we have something that could put down corruption, right? Bunch of swordmasters. Crazy amount of swordmasters. Can we fuse swordmasters? We can't fuse swordmasters, but I can't flog them. There we go, we just sold a bunch of swordmasters. Good news, everyone. Yeah, okay, I guess uh, I guess we're stuck. With as much corruption as we're getting. That's fine. Um... Okay, so, guys. Oh, you've got to level up. Let's do you. Uh, boost income, why not? Brilliant. So, Meow Yin. We're going to do a survival battle, guys. And this has actually turned out quite well-timed. So next up is going to be the Gardener, Demon Prince of Nurgle. He's wearing a surprising amount of armor, I must say. Surprising amount of armor, but he does have these amazing antlers. A giant mace. And wings covered in blights and sores. Pretty gross. He's a pretty spooky boy. I love it. So, yeah, we'll be doing this next. Land of the Plague Lord. Next survival battle. And uh, get the next Demon Prince soul. Then we'll be halfway there. Which is a, kind of a big deal. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.